In today's video, we're going to try to explain the background behind simultaneous equations so that you can really understand what they are. And we'll also introduce the three different ways that we can solve them, which we'll cover in more detail in the next few videos. To start, let's take a random linear equation, like y equals 2x minus 1. Because there are two unknown variables in this equation, the y and the x, there's an infinite number of possible solutions. So it's not possible for us to solve it in any way. For example, if x was 0, we could plug that into the equation to find that y would be 2 times 0 minus 1, which simplifies to minus 1. So if x was 0, then y would be negative 1 which means that we could say that one possible solution is x equals 0, y equals negative 1. However, there's also an infinite number of other possible solutions. For instance, if x is 2, then y would be 2 times 2 minus 1, which is 3. So x equals 2 and y equals 3 is another possible solution. We can actually visualize all of the possible solutions if we take a graph and plot the line of y equals 2x minus 1. Basically, every point along this line is a possible solution. For example, here's our first solution of x equals 0 and y equals minus 1. And here's our second solution of x equals 2, y equals 3. The same goes if we pick another equation, like y plus 2x equals 5. It has endless possible solutions, such as when x equals 0, y equals 5, or when x equals 2, y equals 1. But there isn't one single true solution that we can find, and so we can't solve it. Again though, we can plot it on a graph to see all the possible solutions. Now, even though we can't solve either of these equations by themselves, if we were instead asked to solve the simultaneous equations, y equals 2x minus 1 and y plus 2x equals 5, then that would be a different story, because we'd now be looking for the pair of x and y values that are solutions to both of the equations. So looking at our graph here, even though all of the points along this line are solutions for y equals 2x minus 1, and all of these points are solutions for y plus 2x equals 5. The only solution that's common to both of these lines is this one here where they cross, where x is 1.5 and y is 2. So the answer to this question would be x equals 1.5 and y equals 2, because that's the only solution that both of these equations have in common. So whenever you try to solve simultaneous equations, all you're doing is trying to find that pair of x and y values that are solutions for both of the equations. And that's why we call them simultaneous equations, because it's a solution for both of the equations at the same time, so simultaneously. Now, when it comes to simultaneous equations in exams, there's three different ways that you can solve them. One is to plot both of the equations on a graph like we did a minute ago, and then find the point where they cross, which will be the solution. The other two methods are called substitution and elimination, which are kind of hard to explain without going through all the steps. But basically, they involve rearranging and then combining the equations in some way so that we can find the x and y values by calculation. Over the next few videos, we're going to take a closer look at each of these methods to see exactly how to do them. So don't worry if you don't fully understand it yet. This video was just meant as an overview to introduce the idea behind simultaneous equations. With that said, that's the end. So hope that all made some sense, and cheers for watching.